We tried everything possible, but unfortunately, today was a sad day in the history of the Security Council for those who were unable to see things as they should have seen it, and they saw it differently. We will not give up. I am sure that my brothers and sisters who are around me, we will go and... Tensiones. We will not relent, we will not rest, we will not sleep until we succeed in that endeavor, and we will succeed in that endeavor. It would have been good to succeed yesterday, today, the day before, a month ago, uh, uh, two months ago, but there are those who cannot see reality as they should see it, but eventually they will cave in under the massive pressure of humanity from one corner of the globe to the, uh, to the other corner of the globe with billions of people demanding ceasefire. And almost all nations, all countries, including the 13 of them whom we salute in the Security Council, including the President of the Security Council, for being on the correct side of history. We are grateful for all these things. We are upset like our people are furious and upset with all of us, with the UN system, with the United Nations, with the Security Council, with the General Assembly, and they are correctly upset and angered and frustrated because they see this massive Israeli war machine killing them in the thousands and the Security Council is still paralyzed. As long as Hamas clings to its ideology of destruction, any ceasefire is at best temporary and is certainly not peace. And any ceasefire that leaves Hamas in control of Gaza would deny Palestinian civilians the chance to build something better for themselves. For that reason, although the United States strongly supports a durable peace in which both Israelis and Palestinians can live in peace and security, we do not support this resolution's call for an unsustainable ceasefire that will only plant the seeds for the next war. But we cannot vote in favour of a resolution which does not condemn the atrocities Hamas committed against innocent Israeli civilians on the 7th of October. Calling for a ceasefire ignores the fact that Hamas has committed acts of terror and is still holding civilians hostage. Malheureusement, une fois de plus, ce Conseil a échoué par désunion et par refus de s'engager véritablement dans une négociation. Ce faisant, alors que la crise à Gaza s'aggrave 
et qu'elle menace de s'étendre, il ne se montre pas à la hauteur de la mission fondamentale que lui confie la charte. While we deal with the current crisis, we cannot lose sight of the only viable possibility for a peaceful future, a two-state solution on the basis of United Nations resolutions and international law with Israel and Palestine living side by side in peace and security. This is vital for Israelis, Palestinians, and for the international peace and security. The eyes of the world and the eyes of history are watching. It's time to act, and I thank you. <laughs>